Hello and welcome to the MyGrow YouTube channel. My name is Shane and I'm the founder of MyGrow. Today we're going to look at uh, T5 fixtures, uh, fluorescent fixtures and compare them against other technologies available today, both for from efficiency, uh, coverage and a spectrum point of view. The fixture we're looking at today is got four tubes in it and each of them 60 centimeters or two foot long in an array with the reflector backing on it. The uh, color temperature is a cool blue, 6800 Kelvin. Um, the output is 8000 lumens from these bulbs. And we're going to have a look at it from a power perspective. Uh, we're going to test the output at the recommended hanging height. In, in this instance, it's uh, 20 centimeters is the, the recommended um, hanging height by Lumi. And we're going to test the power output, look at the coverage, and as I said, compare it against other lights. Traditionally, this is considered to be a high efficiency, low energy fixture. Um, that was uh, some time ago, really, when, when, when fluorescents were considered to be so. Really, LED has, has uh, far surpassed this now in terms of efficiency. But uh, let's do a comparison and see how much. So we've tested the Lumi fixture, the T5 fixture for efficiency and spectrum. So let's look at the spectrum first and we'll do a comparison against a few different um, common grow lights available today. So we showed the Lumi uh, T5, it's a, a cool tube, 6800K. You can see there's 32% blue in that, uh, in that uh, light spectrum and that's mixed with a balance of green and red. Looking at a, a standard CFL dual spectrum, you get about 20% blue. Spectrum King, uh, Mother's Little Helper, 23. Our Migro uh, 100 uh, 4000K veg light at uh, 20% blue. And your standard blue-red light, it can vary. Just picked out a UFO here at uh, 11%. So from research and looking at experiments the minimum blue light really you need for uh, a light suitable for full spectrum is about 15 percent and blue is is completely sufficient to give you that short dense growth and um, uh, you know bushy growth for your veg stage so it's uh, all, all of these lights apart from the ufo are very suitable for vegging uh, so let's look at the uh, efficiency comparison. So again, all the same light fixtures just compared, just to give you a perspective on, uh, on normal uh, levels of efficiency for these typical uh, grow lights. So the Lumi T5 Cool uh, at 6800K is reasonably efficient compared to some other CFLs, um, but it's still pretty poor at 0.7 micromoles per watt of PPFD. That's the measure of the amount of light actually delivered down onto the grow area as measured. Uh, the CFL dual spectrum, so that's a, a CFL tube with a reflector, uh, 0 0.6 PPFD per um, watt. Spectrum King um, in the LED 1.3 UFO um, and other red blue LEDs typically between about 1 and 1.3 micromoles per watt and then we have our Migro 100 there at 2 uh, micromoles of PPFD per watt. Just to put that in perspective the wattage for the two lights are very similar so the the Lumi T5 Cool is about 100 watts the Migro 100 is about 100 watts so comparing the two, you would be able to veg three times the area because it's three times as efficient with the same wattage with the MIGO 100 versus the T5s. Just looking at the coverage area then for the, um, the Lumi T5 in this configuration, which is, as I said before, it's, it's four tubes, uh, 60 centimeters or two foot long, and it's giving a coverage area of a approximately that size. I show it now in the, the PPFD charts you can see that it's averaging around 250 micromoles per meter squared per second which is suitable for veg 
over about a two foot by foot and a half or 60 by 45 centimeter area. So in summary, it's a, a very nicely built, nicely constructed, and uh, it's been around for a long time. So it's very proven technology. The level of blue is very sufficient for your veg light and totally appropriate at 32%. If anything, it might be a little bit high and you're losing a bit of efficiency with it. But uh, really the, um, the downside with these lights <coughs> is, um, is the efficiency. Relatively very poor efficiency for uh, these days you would be expecting um, for a grow light to be at least over one micromole per watt as the, uh, the sort of basic standard LEDs like Spectrum King and others are. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you want to make any comments, if you have any queries about anything I've presented, please make the comments below and take care.